The Villagas Street shop came up about nine months after we closed our Bramfontein store. My brother came up to me and said, listen, um, there might be an opportunity here, are you keen? I came through and I saw it and I loved it from sight. And in fact, interestingly enough, both stores were kind of open around the same time period, just obviously the years apart. It turns out 22 years into our democracy, people still queue up when an overseas food brand arrives in the country. It boggles my mind and they queue up for two, three months. And I started thinking, why is it that global brands, for whatever reason, have a level of resonance among South Africans? Why are there no Pan-African global South African brands selling South African food? And that's what drives us. This is what our passion, this is our why. This is what we, why we do what we do. We want to make South African food locally relevant and globally prevalent. And it's not a fluke that Chinese food is globally relevant. Those countries work to make those foods um, relevant to the world. So the defining moment, I guess, when I realized all this is that, especially here on Villagazi Street, you see how the rest of the world is clamoring for something that is quintessentially South African. Uh, and it's mind boggling that South Africans are not here. Yet everybody else is here. And, and then you realize also very quickly that we actually have a billion Africans on this continent. That is a big market that has never been served where their taste palette and profiles have never been catered for. Everywhere else you go, it's always the usual stuff, Eurofusion food. Why are we not doing South African food at global standards? So we think this is a big opportunity, not just for South Africa, but for the continent. And I think from a Vuyo's perspective, this allows us to move forward in terms of opening branches across the country, uh, as well as, more importantly, across the continent. But I think I'm most passionate about our Villagazi Street Store is because we are at the core of it all. We are in Soweto. It's called Dr. Villagazi Street for a reason. This is the first guy who went to this university, who translated the Zulu language into a dictionary. It's got two Nobel Peace Prize winners on the same street. I mean, it doesn't get any more romantic in terms of what is possible to come out of here. Uh, and more importantly, just to follow up on that, the two people who won Nobel Peace Prizes came from this street. They were noble people just like you and I. And they did things to the world. They fundamentally changed the world. So I think for us, it just tells us that it's possible. If you can dream it, you can possibly do it.